Hi Scorpio, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. I wanted to give you guys a quick message. This is going to be whatever comes out. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate. If a message is not for you, leave it for someone else and you can always check your other signs or check back next time. All right, let's see. Ace of Swords, communication uh, from someone you're not talking to. <laughs> Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is having a hard time reading you, Scorpio. With that Page of Pentacles in reverse. They can't read you. It's almost like they can normally see through other people. They can't see through you. They want to communicate. Yeah, Page of Swords. Very curious, okay, because they can't read you. They need some more information. They need some more... It's like this person wants some more uh, conversation with you so they can try to read you, but it's telling me they're having a hard time getting a read on you. Damn, Eight of Wands. Communication, 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 guys. This person wants to talk. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, there is either no communication at all or very surface level communication strong air energy gemini libra aquarius we also have aries leo sagittarius and capricorn virgo taurus could be any sign how does scorpio feel about this person two of swords you said i know you, you want to close off. You feel like there's a stalemate. You feel like this person's not giving you what you want. So you're like, okay, you're not giving me what, you, what I want. So you're blocked or you're closed off or you're blocked from my energy. How do they see Scorpio? How do they see you right now? The will of fortune. That's fixed energy. You could be dealing with another fixed sign. All right. It's a very interesting way to see you. I feel like they see you as set on your path, that you're not changing your mind. But they're wondering if you will. It's kind of like this person is wondering if they can uh, change the fate of this connection, change the direction the connection is headed. Could be connecting to an Aquarius, another Scorpio, a Leo, or a Taurus. How do they feel? Ten of Pentacles. This person wants a long-term partnership with you. But, so what's the problem? They feel like you're the one. So what's the problem, Spirit, with this person? They're not giving you what you want is what it's telling me. Or they didn't give you what you wanted. Queen of Swords. This person, like I'm getting like this person doesn't understand boundaries. This person doesn't understand standards that you have a certain set of standards. And that's just that. That's why that's the problem is that they're not meeting your standards. What do they want from Scorpio? Spirit, what do they want from Scorpio? Ten of Wands. They don't want you to give up on them. I'm going to clarify that. Spirit, why the Ten of Wands for what they want? Five of Cups. They're holding on to hope that you're not going to give up. They know they let you down. Or that they're letting you down. But for some reason, they want you to take some of the responsibility. It's kind of like this person feels like you're not meeting them in the middle. But you're telling me they're not, it's a stalemate. You're like, okay, you're not going to give me what I want. You're not meeting my standards. That seems pretty clear. Okay. They're like, oh, I have the ability to change this. I really want to be with Scorpio. But uh, that means I have to take responsibility What are their next actions?
Spirit, what are their next actions towards Scorpio? The Empress? To give you what you want. They're going to give you what you want. Because they don't want you to, they don't want you to disappear from the, their life. I see her, I see somebody offering you exactly what it is you want, but what are you going to do? Tell me more, spirit. The chariot, yeah. They're headed in your direction to give you what you want. There's some movement happening. Their next actions are to come towards you. They know your value, the Empress. They know your worth, Scorpio. And they want to give you exactly what you want because they don't want to lose you. They, The Ten of Pentacles, they can feel and see a long-term partnership with you. You have a lot to offer a connection, and they know that. They know they're not going to find anyone else that is as good of a catch as you. What's their hidden truth? Could be connecting with a Taurus, a Libra, a Cancer, an Aquarius, a Gemini. Again, we have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. But it's it's just energy. Oh my word. You want to know their hidden truth? Look at that. It says, I love you. I hide my feelings. And you saw how those cards just flipped right over. It says they love you and they hide their feelings, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, it says, I look for you everywhere. This is them knowing that they're not going to find you in another person. They may have tried or, you know, they know they can't because they feel the Ten of Pentacles. And it's like if they anyone else they talk to, they can't find you inside that other person because they know that you're uniquely you. All right, Scorpio. I do feel the need to pull you a surrender card before we wrap it up. What does Scorpio need to surrender what do you need to surrender to, Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to surrender to? That's too many. That's still too many. Spirit, one card. What does Scorpio need to surrender to? Okay. It says, surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. If you got some clarity out of this, I do appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. And I will see you next time. Bye.